The Blackboard Learn entry page allows you to easily navigate your environment and change options that affect how users interact with the interface. When you enter the Blackboard site, you will notice that a group of modules are already available for use. These are required modules and are included by default. You can view additional modules by selecting the Add Module button. Review the available list and then choose the one you would like to add. You are also able to remove modules that you have selected. Required modules cannot be removed. You are able to personalize My Courses and My Organization modules by clicking on the icon in the upper right hand corner of the module. You can select the attributes to be displayed for each course or organization. You can choose to select all to display all attributes. Click Submit to save your changes. The Personalize Page option allows you to change the theme of your page. Select from the color palette options. The changes will only apply to your Blackboard site. Tabs on this page give you access to additional information such as active organizations and courses in Blackboard and the eLearning and Library webpage. The eLearning tab will take you to the Research Academy for Integrated Learning webpage where you will find information about online learning, the online certification program, faculty and student resources, and the professional development schedule. Global navigation can be viewed from any location in your Blackboard site. The logout button is located next to the drop-down arrow. To access Global Navigation, click on the drop-down arrow next to your name in the top right-hand corner of the page. All of your classes and organizations are listed in Global Navigation. From the menu, you have access to your courses, home page, and other helpful links. You can change your text size, settings, and other personal information. The number in the red box located next to your name indicates the amount of new items that require your attention. The post icon displays new posts to discussion board, wikis, and journals. The Update icon lists all notifications for every course you are teaching. You can view all notifications at once or by courses. The Retention Center gives you a snapshot view of student performances in all of your courses. Select a course for more detail. The three main areas of the Retention Center are students at risk, students or items you are monitoring, and your course activity. The bar shows the total number of students at risk. When you click the bar, the number of at-risk students in each category will be displayed. The Retention Center can also be customized. You can choose the set of rules to be included, edit it, and you are also able to delete a rule, including default rules. You can also create as many rules as needed. Rules not included in the address table are shown in the section to the right of the page. The Retention Center also shows the instructor's activities in courses. Only the instructor can see this section.
The calendar can be accessed from global navigation and also from within the course site. You are able to color code each calendar to make them easier to identify. Any event with a due date will be automatically posted to the calendar. You can also move an event to a new date on the calendar. No need to go back to the course to make date changes for an assignment. You can also post events to the calendar. To add an event to the calendar, click the plus sign. To review what has been covered, this module provides you with an overview of some of the important features available on your Blackboard site. You will have the opportunity to learn from more detailed modules as you delve more deeply into developing your course.